Perfect. That's nice. <laughs> and they won't roll off your plate. <laughs> of course. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> you won't believe what happened to me at the office today. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I wonder what happened. He doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, he'll feel better when he gets it off his chest. Ted, now what happened? Well... <laughs> what are you doing, Vicky? I'm waiting for you to get it off your chest. <laughs> Tony, am I not an electronics genius? Sort of. Absolutely. Have I not deserved a promotion and a raise at the office? Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. And not to mention the authority that goes along with it? Oh, they'd be idiots not to recognize you for what you are. Thank you. They're idiots. <laughs> you mean you didn't get any of the above? No. No, no, a thousand times no. <laughs> Don't rub it in. Oh, Ted, that's too bad. That's the good part. Oh, what's the bad part? Brindle got the promotion. Brindle? Next door, Brandon Brindle? That's right. And the worst is, he, he. Yes? Yes? <laughs> He's now my boss. Your boss? Oh, no. Your boss? Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. He got his new raise, his new office, Oh, well, look on the bright side. He still has his old wife. <laughs> Mom, Dad, there's smoke coming out of the Brindle's house. You're kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Ted. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, I can smell it. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Hi. <coughs> we had a fire. Yeah, Jamie told us. Fortunately, I was able to put it out, keeping a cool head. Under fire. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> that smell is pretty bad. Well, that's my wife's cooking. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my, 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 my. Oh, are you okay? I'm okay. You're okay. <laughs> this is my parent, Jamie. No kidding. I thought it was a canary in a Halloween costume. <laughs> He's from Mexico. Hot tamale! Hot tamale! <laughs> How'd the fire start, Brandon? It must have been with some faulty wiring. He went crazy with that fire extinguisher. There was just foam all over the place. Brandon, you're supposed to squirt it on the fire, not on your wife and child. <laughs> it's awful. Our house is all filled with smoke. Smoke! Smoke! <laughs> Gosh, if there's anything that we can do to help, just let us know. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what you're both thinking, and I won't hear of it. What are we thinking? Well, that you want us to spend the night here. Oh, what a dear neighbor. 
Well, to tell you the truth, Bonnie, Okay, I... one night, but no more. No, absolutely not. Not any more than that. We'll just go get a few things. Oh, you dear people. <laughs> now, Ted, I want to be treated as an ordinary guest. I don't want any special favors just because I'm now your boss and, and can fire you. <laughs> now, look, Brandon. We'd love to have you as our guest. <laughs> I figured as much. Lawson, you're my kind of guy. Well, bye for now, we. Bye for now, we. <laughs> you can play with Polly, but don't feed her anything. I'd like to feed you Harriet. <laughs> We'd love to have you as our guest. Why? Why? Uh, well, look at it this way. There are neighbors and they're in trouble. Look at it this way. There are neighbors and we're in trouble. Let's nail the door shut. Oh, Ted. If Harry is sleeping over here, then I want to sleep over there. That's enough, Jamie. Go get cleaned up for dinner. Oh, cleaned up for dinner. Cleaned up for dinner. Come on. Honey, ha. Huh? Square potatoes. Oh, so they won't roll off the plate. Of course. <laughs> Honey, how could you do this to me? And what, what if Brindle finds out about Vicky? Well, she fooled him once and she can fool him again. What's more important is that he's just mean enough to get you fired if we turn them down. Yeah. And it's just for one night. Yeah. You're right, as usual. <laughs> I'd sure be lost without you, honey. I'm broke. I get a good lawyer. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> no, no, that couldn't be them. Not so soon. It's probably just a hungry dog who learned how to knock. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke in our house is even worse than before. <laughs> they were all packed. Did you mess us? Oh, yes, what took you so long? So, where are we going to sleep? <laughs> Let me show you. In Jamie's room, dear. If he's teaching Polly any bad words, I'll punch his lights out. <laughs> well, this, as you can tell, is the sofa. Oh, I don't know. Seems pretty lumpy to me. Brandon, why don't you try it? <laughs> Whoa, it is lumpy. Feels like there's somebody in here already. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Convertible sofas are never firm enough for me. We can always make up the kitchen table. That's pretty firm. Well, I'm afraid the only other thing we have to offer you is a sleeping bag. Thanks, but I already have one. <laughs> Brandon, he just puts me in stitches. And if he doesn't look out, I'm going to put him in stitches. <laughs> now, about supper. We do not want to impose. No way are you going to be cooking for us. No, 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 no. Oh, well, if you insist on going out... I... No, that's not what she means. Bonnie means after you cook for your family, then she'll cook for our family. Oh. Well, if that's all settled... Uh, I forgot my bathrobe and slippers. I better go get them so I can be nice and comfy tonight. Yeah, <laughs> you do that. Oh, would you see if you can find my chin strap? <laughs> now, I'm just going to need a few things uh, Pots and pans Or maybe some food <laughs> I don't know why I am making this so complicated It's not fair to rush you with your dinner so that I can cook Thank you Why don't you just cook for all of us? <laughs> now look, Bonnie oh, it's Okay, I can manage I think I'll just slip into a nice, relaxing bubble bath. I like to sink in right up to here and let the bubbles tickle my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she'd sink in right up to here. <laughs> just for one night. Yeah. Did you say something about just one night? Well, I said how enjoyable it is to have you folks here for a night. Well, you're going to enjoy it even more then. There's too much smoke to even get into the house. We're going to be here for a couple of days. What? Say, where's my beautiful little bundle of chubby? <laughs> Your bundle of chubby is taking a tubby. Well, she better get out, because here comes hubby. <laughs> well, you know, honey, I think I've really learned something from all of this. What's that? What they mean by justifiable homicide. <laughs> Bathroom 
Jenkins, all yours. Thanks. You've been practically living in there for two days. <laughs> she makes faces at herself in the mirror. <laughs> women to look her best. <laughs> well, then in that case, you'll have to stay in the bathroom for the rest of your life. <laughs> Don't be too sure, Buster. I've got everything any other woman ever had at my age. We just don't know how it's going to turn out yet. <laughs> turn out yet! Turn out yet! <laughs> I'll say one thing for you, Harriet. you got a smart parrot. Yeah, he could remember anything and repeat it. I smell smoke. I smell smoke. <laughs> See, that's what my father said when he discovered the fire. <laughs> Don't just stand there, dummy. <laughs> that's what my mother said. <laughs> I can do that. Don't just stand there, dummy. <laughs> Oh, I fed her some of your parrot food. <laughs> Jamie, I wasn't born yesterday. I just look like I was. <laughs> Mom, it's been two whole days with Harriet. Have mercy. <laughs> two days? Seems more like two months. Even in my sleep, I keep hearing... No, 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 no. <laughs> Dad looks like he isn't getting any sleep. He walks around the house like a zombie saying, Why me? Why me? <laughs> Poor father. Mr. Brindle got his newspaper again this morning. Morning. Honey, you look awful. But I feel great. <laughs> what have you been doing? How smelling? Mom, he's cracking. No, 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 no. The Brindle house. I didn't smell smoke. <laughs> oh, Tim, they can go home. Yes, yes. Oh. I feel like a pest control man about to get rid of his last two termites. Uh. <laughs> Dad, make it three. Don't forget that freckled termite, Harriet. <laughs> and as we say goodbye to the Brendels. Ted, wait. You're not going to throw them out. Yes, I am. I'll get my camera and take some pictures. <laughs> oh, Ted, wait. Maybe we should reconsider. I think we're letting our emotions carry us away. Yeah, isn't it fun? <laughs> well, why do something foolish now? I mean, they'll undoubtedly leave anyway since the smoke's gone. So why jeopardize your job for nothing? You know, you got to stop that. What? Making sense. <laughs> All right, all right. I won't make any waves. Good. And, Jamie, I'll go to your room and play with Harriet. Do I have to? Yes. Oh, all right. Then can we play skydiver? <laughs> What's that? I yelled jump and throw her out the window. <laughs> Forget it, fellas. Morning. Morning, Ted. You were up early this morning. Not as early as you. Well, the early bird catches the worm. And the worm catches a Sunday paper. <laughs> <laughs> little joke. <laughs> Very little. How's my book, Bonnie? Oh, it's quite dull, actually. I knew his mistress was the murderer. You see, they found him dead with a smile on his face. <laughs> Thanks for telling me the ending. <laughs> Say, uh, why are you two standing? We're thinking of dancing. Ah. Oh, well, the Bonnie looks so comfortable on the sofa, I didn't want to ask her to move. Oh, it's no trouble. You just sit yourself down here and I'll put my feet in your lap. <laughs> uh, listen, you two, I have really good news. I was just over at your house and guess what? I think the smoke has cleared up. Hmm? No kidding? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, I guess you'll be real anxious to get back to your own house and your own bed. Yeah. Well, I do miss my electric blanket. And with Brandon, you need one. <laughs> oh, by the way, Ted, 
Did you know that the guy that sells us our company insurance sold me my fire policy? Well, yeah, he's a friend of mine. I recommended him to you, remember? I like him. Not too bright. Got our policy at a special rate. Oh, that's because Brandon was smart and got a non-smoker's <laughs> clause in the policy. I've been making up a list of the stuff we lost in the fire. Uh, my golf clubs, my binoculars, the new oh, stereo. Oh, Brandon, you never had golf clubs or binoculars. Yeah. Get the picture? <laughs> I do. The picture is you sitting in jail. Yes, Brandon. Uh, he's right. And I don't approve of it. Not one little bit. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bonnie, there's no possible way they're ever going to find out. Well, in that case, throw in a fur coat for me. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, why don't we be real good neighbors and... Uh, Help you folks get your stuff together so you can toddle on back home. Oh, yes, I, I could even pack you a little picnic lunch to take along. <laughs> oh, gee, that's awfully thoughtful. Right? <laughs> but, you know, it might not look good to the insurance company if we move back in too soon, Mother. Mm. I guess you'll have the pleasure of our company another couple of days. What? No, okay. Ted, why don't we go and make some coffee? I don't want coffee. Oh, nothing for us either. Oh, maybe a sandwich. Uh, do you have any jam bone? That's uh, French for ham. <laughs> Hold the mayo for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever lose. I'm not programmed to lose. Are you that smart or am I that dumb? You're that dumb! You're that dumb! <laughs> but out, Polly. Or we're going to have Parrot for Thanksgiving. <laughs> fire! Fire! I smell smoke, Brandon. <laughs> Is that all your parrot knows to talk about? He's just repeating what my mother said. Daddy started fire with cigar. Daddy started fire with cigar. Now he's repeating what I said. <laughs> I thought your dad said the fire started with some faulty wiring. Is that what he said? I guess I've got a big mouth. I'd compute that for your body to be in proportion to your mouth, you'd have to be six foot two inches tall. <laughs> All right, I've had it. I don't care if it does cost me my job, and don't try to talk me out of it this time. The next sound you hear will be my foot against his seat. <laughs> I won't change my mind. I was just going to say... Put on your spiked golf shoes. <laughs> Joni, that's pretty sadistic. I am so proud of you. <laughs> well, lunch so soon? You're quicker than chicken delight. <laughs> Brandon, we have to talk. Sure. I finished the crossword puzzle anyway. Oh, boy, what fun. You know Brandon, I'll make this brief. This isn't working. Uh, what isn't? How about going to a hotel? I wouldn't think of having you and the family go to a hotel. <laughs> Brandon, he means you and Bonnie. You uh, are you asking us to leave? At least. <laughs> Brandon, are they hinting that we have worn out our welcome? I think he's hinting that he wants to get fired. Well, let's go, Brandon. Right, after they make those sandwiches. No sandwiches. Well, that's compassion for you. <laughs> it certainly is. Harriet! Harriet! Come in here! <laughs> it's a fine way to treat people who nearly lost their lives in a fire. <laughs> well, we're sorry, Bonnie, but it's just impossible for the four of us to live together in the same house. I don't know how the two of you can live in the same house. What do you want, Mom? Harriet, we're leaving. You and your father have been insulted. <laughs> we're going, Lawson. But be it on your head if that faulty wiring flares up again and barbecues us in our sleep. Mr. Brindle, that faulty wiring didn't cause your fire. It was you. Oh, uh, what? what makes you say that? Daddy, it wasn't my big mouth that told him. It was the parrot's. Daddy started fire with cigar. Daddy started fire with cigar. Oh, that stupid bird.
Jared. They shouldn't let those feathered foreigners in the country. <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> so you told the fire insurance company you were a non-smoker, eh, Brandon? Well, I... I, uh... I, uh... Ah, uh, I guess this would be a good time to tell them the happy news, right, Mother? I can hardly wait to hear it myself. <laughs> that makes two of us. Ted, old buddy, I'm putting you in for a raise at the office. Uh, who else to have by my side but a man of ability, judgment, knows when to keep his mouth shut in a crisis? And we can certainly call this a crisis. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. I won't say a word if you don't hand in those phony claims and you leave this house right now. You got a deal. <laughs> Come on, Mother. What about our things? Can I carry it? Now! He said, now. Ooh, we've been charming. Can we can all right. <laughs> all right! All right! <laughs> Boy, a little Harriet goes a long way. Her talking gave me a cauliflower ear. <laughs> Now, if we can just keep the Brendels from coming back. Let's nail the door shut, old buddy. <laughs> you know, it would serve them right if you did tell the insurance company about their phony claims. And I'm still tempted to. But you promised not to say a word. And I won't. I'll just dial and put the parrot on the phone. <laughs> She's a small wonder, brings love. 